this is very novel. This is this is different. This is we're, strange. We're actually in his pub garden. It's it's quite dark. We're not going to lie. This is a very bright camera. Yeah. Uh, lighting. It's a um, new 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 investment, isn't it? Yeah, for you. I, I I'll be honest with you. I'm looking at myself in HD under lights at the minute, and I'm not I'm not quite liking what I'm seeing. I'm uh, not going to lie to you. Well, I tell you what. I'll get this bit out of the way. Do the usual, right? Drop a like on the stream. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Touch the bell. Touch the bell, and you'll be notified of any new content uh -huh. as and when we upload it to the channel. So this is episode three, edition three of the Daily the Daily. West Ham. This the is Daily quite West like Ham. This. I'm not going to lie to you. Quite yeah. like this. It's of course, good. when when you guys see this, it's the sun will be up. As opposed that's to that's going to be quite creepy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not. Listen, I'm seeing this, and I don't quite like how I look. Next time we do this, we're doing it in the dark. There's no one can see me then, because Christ Almighty, look at the state of that. That's just there, there's like that's good. That's enough. I I look at it all the time. <laughs> so well, you know, I don't know where we're still together. Joe, if you're watching, I'm I'm glad you're sticking <laughs> about, babe. I am. He is. Okay, um, so um, there's the two stories that we want to talk about. One obviously I'm going to bring to the table, and one that Duke's going to bring to the table. Um, I'll let you go first, me old mate. I forgot mine. What was mine? It's bad news, isn't it, when this happens? <laughs> it's fine. I can edit this bit out and they'll no, never know. They don't have to. They don't know. Where are we at? Go on. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do my one, shall on I? My one. I want to talk about the comments that Joe Cole's made. Now, Joe yes. Cole has gone on to, uh, to say in an interview, basically, why can't West Ham win the Europa League? He, he makes the point that Villarreal won it last season they yeah. they beat manchester united all right it was a penalty shootout and you can turn around and say well it was an element of luck but you know they got to the final and they played a team in manchester united that let's be Champions honest about it side. yep yeah. let's be honest about it they they should have got blown away and they didn't they took it to penalties and they lifted the trophy now joe cole makes the point you know would Mikel antonio get into the villarreal team yes would declan rice get in the villarreal team yes yeah thomas suchek Yes, Vladimir Sufal. Yes, he he lists a number of players and makes the point. You know, there's the there's no one way Dawson maybe without no disrespect uh, to Dawson. I think um, Ariola would get in the team. Ariola, you know, there. although he's not in the... a bit of a, a push might just make it. <laughs> but you you know my feelings from yeah. the video last night. Yeah, it's last when night it's when they see this. <laughs> but I can't get me over on this. It's, I can't. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's like Doctor Who, isn't it? Wibbly wobbly, <sighs> timey wimey. It's madness, isn't it? but um. But no, I mean, I, listen, that, and that's exactly what I want to hear. And I know Joe Cole's not connected with the club anymore. And, and I know a lot of people are quite critical of Joe Cole. Us, I don't care. I know yeah, people, people say, he's, people a say he's a Chelsea fan. Nah. But listen, he won, he won Premier Leagues. He won FA Cups, yeah, League Cups. But you he, want to he, know, know something. He's right. got to have a soft spot for them in his heart. But he's also got a soft spot for us. You know, he, he had two spells with us. He started his pro career with us. So, you know, I don't subscribe to the narrative that, you know, oh, because he's, he's not a Rio. No. No, he's no, not no. a Rio. He's, he's uh, not on that Rio's, level. Yeah, no. Rio's nailed his colours to the mask yeah. with regards to United, whereas Joe Cole has always he's sat on the fence between the two. You know, he yeah. will champion Chelsea. Of course he will. He had some of the best, best moments and memories of his career there. Definitely. You know, winning the league, winning the FA Cup, etc., etc. Um, but he, he started out as one of ours, you know, he was, yeah. he's a West Ham boy and he, and he will always champion us. And you, you see that. And, and let's be honest, this latest news report is exactly that. He's saying that um, we've got a chance of winning it. So, uh, you know, and, and I make him right. You know, we, we did, we, we had this conversation when we did the, um, the live stream for the draw, when we, when yes. we got a very, what was a very favorable draw. Let's not mess around. Um, but, would we discuss the chances that we could win this? That we, you know, I, I, I'd be, I, I said on the stream, and I, st I still stand by that now. I'd be pissed off if we don't get six out of six in in the group stages. I'm not Fair being enough. funny. They're all beatable, and we've got a bloody strong side. Like I don't mean to be rude, but let's look at what could come down out of that league, and we'll we'll, we'll cover that in more in depth once the group stages are underway in the Champions League. Yeah. And we'll have a look at each group and see which ones could come down. Because I know West Ham Online did something similar with you at the start of that stream, if I remember rightly. And you're not going to end up with a Madrid in 
realistic Unless, theory. Like, really yeah. You're not going to end up with a Madrid or a Barca or an Atletico. Yeah. Uh, you might Dortmund, end up with Zenit, Munich, St. Petersburg, yeah. or a team like that. I've got or, no or idea even, if they're in the Champions you might, League. You but... might end up with a. a, 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 a I'm not going to say PSG, but you, you know what I mean. You might get something of that ilk yeah. out of Spain or Germany. You know, maybe a fire order. Yeah, you know, you you might get something that's that's going to crash out of there. And let's be honest, those third place Champions League sides, I'm not fearing right now. No. Like we've got Man United. Uh, Saturday, well, tomorrow, tomorrow week, yeah. today week, <laughs> week today, whatever this is, um, and then we've got them in the cup on the on the Wednesday. Now, when we went up there in the FA Cup last season, no fans, and we lost an extra time, didn't we, yep. McTominay? Um, I was fuming because yes. I thought we could have won that. Yeah. Um, when we played them in the league at the London Stadium, and the ball ended up, you know, at oh, Stratford the, Station. Yeah. Um, we were beating them. We are. We have a team more than capable of beating this side. So. Man United don't bother me. You know, City, different story. Liverpool, different story. Um, Leicester in there with us. Well, we just turned Leicester over 4 1 yep. a couple of weeks ago. You know, so. Double over them last season. In no sorry, way, Chris. Form. We so, did. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no, mate. I, no, I'm not sorry. Um, I saw what he said on the stream earlier. I'm not sorry. <laughs> or yesterday. <laughs> um, I'll get used to it. I, 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 I completely agree with Cole. I really do. I think we have a great shot of. Of Mark Noble lifting that trophy come May next year. What and, a way that would be at some Oh, now. can you imagine? Listen, I, I, I've championed that man for, for years as as being one of the most consistent players in the Premier League yep. for, for a decade. You know, he's been solid. He's been fantastic, this guy. He's been an absolute perfect servant. And I can't think, honestly, I can't think of a better way of anything other than the Bet Wake Up. Um, Lifting a trophy at the end of the season, I honest to God can't can't think of any better way for, to give that man a send off a send off yeah. than our first major trophy since 1980. Yeah, you know I don't count the into two Bob or the uh, or the Anglo Italian if I remember rightly. Did we win that? I don't think we did. Did we? I don't know, listen, I remember playing. I remember playing in it. But... Who did we play? Cremonese. Yes, we played Cremonese in that. I was a kid. Jesus Christ. Reggiana was another team we played. I remember going at that game. Yeah, and then obviously we had Mets and, and the others in, in uh, the Inter 2, Bob, didn't we? Yeah. FC Jokerit. I'm on the lemonade, by the I'm way, because I'm I've... driving. He obviously isn't. This looked bad up. at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not five minutes past eight as we record this. It's like 25 past 10 at night. So, on yeah, Friday. that's why. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remember playing FC Jokerit and they had a... The geezer had a bad. Uh, his number was ninety, ninety six point five, was his shirt number because he radio was, frequency, he was it? sponsored by a radio station. Oh my that was word. why I he sticks out. That. FC Jokerit, and we played Heronveen in the same season. We did, and and obviously that's where a certain gentleman ended up in a caravan. Oh, allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Yeah. Back onto the topic. Yes, oh, we, we deviated. No, we were talking about the last time we won played yeah. in Europe, really. But and, well, that, 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 but <laughs> Joe Cole, right Joe Cole is absolutely right in what he says. Yeah. And I and, I and absolutely that's what I want to hear. And I know Joe Cole's not inside the club. It's not like it's come from a coach. It's not like it's come from a player. Yeah. But you know, this is a former professional footballer. This is a guy that's yeah. that's operated at the top level. And I don't honestly think that he's it's it's just him paying lip service to West Ham. I think he honestly believes that you know and listen, I'm not saying we're going to win the Europa League. We've got but we have a chance. Yeah. It's not like we, as I said, when we did the stream for the draw, it's not like when we qualified for the Europa um, the last season under Sam Allardyce when it was the fair play thing. You know? <laughs> I mean, that was completely ridiculous. You know, um, I didn't Madness, really take an awful it? lot of pride in that particular qualification. I take it, but it was like, yeah, you really, you can't, football, you can't but, really yeah. puff your chest out. We finished sixth in the Premier League. Sixth. And that was a season after we almost got relegated. So we are in this competition pure, yeah. on, on, on merit, absolutely on merit. You know, Tottenham Hotspur would swap places with us. All day long. But then on, on the flip side to that, before we finished sixth in the league, I would have taken the first season, the inaugural season of the conference and won it 
uh, oh, to name, be the first name, her name yeah. on that for the first team, you know. Um, and touch wood, it doesn't happen, but there is still the opportunity of that because if this goes terribly wrong and we finish third in this, we, then we drop down. Yeah, so in you know, with that regard, we've still got we, we can still conquer Europe on two fronts yeah. at the moment. You know, a bit like the guys but in the Champions League. They I, can still I want, conquer that. Oh, I want this. I, I want to win. Because don't forget, guys, if if we win the Europa League, whisper it, if we win the Europa League, I'm not saying we will. If we win it, Champions League. Yes. Champions League. Yeah. Don't tell everyone. But that's, that's, that's got to be the aim. I don't, I don't care whether, you know... Listen, the owners, the, the, the ball backed Moyes this this transfer window, and yep. I, I listen. I'm 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 nowhere near being pro bald, but they backed him because you know we, we were worried. Let's not lie. You and me oh, have yeah. had conversations in in the pub. Um, we were worried that they wouldn't back him. You know, we were worried about um, Champions League, uh, about Europe, European football, and we were concerned about the the quality of players at the club. Yep. Now they all right. One of them's alone with a with an option. Um, I think if he plays 20 games... Is it 20? Okay. I think it's 20. I think it was much the same on the same sort of wavelength as Dawson. If he plays 20, then we, we, we shell out whatever it is. I'll have to get confirmation on that, but I believe um, that's what I that's Is that what in I all heard. competitions or is uh, that Premier League? I think that's all competitions, okay. same as Dawson. Doable. So again, yeah, very, very much doable um, if we have a good one in, in three cups, let's be honest. Um, he's, he's playing, fingers crossed, he's playing a minimum of six in the Europa League anyway, because that, that's where I'd be with him. So he's only finding 14 games from somewhere else. And mm. let's be honest, um, how many times did Fab injure himself in the warm-up last season, you know, and he's a year older now. Yeah. So, but no, I mean, listen, the ball backed, the ball backed Moyes were the players he wanted. Um, you know, rumour has it that he wanted Zuma before he wanted Milenkovic. If that's the case, he's got his man. He wanted Ariola. We went out, we got Ariola. Um, I, I, I don't know the whole Vlasic situation. I'm, I'm not going to comment that he wanted Vlasic. I'm not going to make that judgment. But I'm guessing he wanted Vlasic because he, we've gone out and got Vlasic. That's got not going to be. Lingard. Listen, he's not going to. 30, 30 million, 34.7 yeah. isn't going to be a, a, a Sally present on the table in the morning when you walk in. He ain't no. spending that much money. You know, so. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we didn't go after journeyman like we did when we qualified for Europe last time. I'm glad we didn't do that. I'm glad we didn't go after seven or eight other players. I'm glad we didn't go looking. Um, I'm just pleased that we've um, we've invested wisely. We've invested, we've strengthened as as we discussed yesterday, and um, I completely agree with Joe. I do. With I think and, uh, uh, better and chance than most in that tournament. I, I, I you know, and if we're not going to have the attitude that we're in the competition with the sole ambition of winning it, then quite frankly, we shouldn't be in it. That's yeah. my attitude. Completely um, agree. Wasn't your other story, and if you, if you, you've forgotten, haven't you? You've forgotten your story. Um, I think his story, Duke, was Jed Wallace from Millwall. That was it. That we was got it. there in the Thank end. You. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I tell you, it interests me. It interests me because um, we don't do deals that way often. No, but he's out of contract in the summer. Mm. Tell me about him. Well, I think it was thirty-nine goals, thirty-nine appearance, uh, thirty-nine goals, thirty-nine assists. In I think it was two hundred and twenty-seven appearances. So I knew you'd have. I knew you'd have all the stats. I, I, yeah, listen, it's there or thereabouts. I might be. <clears throat> listen, he's he's got um, he, he's got the record of a good player in that in, in that league. Yep. Now. Um, we we took a punt on a player out of that league, mm-hmm. and um, he does. I mean, Bowen Bowen scored x amount of goals and, and had x amount of assists before we took him out of the championship um, from what was quite a diabolical hole side. And he and he still had the assists and he still had the goals. Yeah. And we took a punt. And to be fair, it's worked. And it's yes. worked really well. Agreed. Um, and you've now got another player with a similar if not better, record um, of, of goals and assists per games. Now, like I say, we don't tend to do um, deals that way. There might be a loan from us going that way. You don't necessarily see the players coming out of there to come to us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, but it's, if he's it's, out of contract... If he's out then of contract, then he's, then he's a free agent as such. But, you know, listen, Moyes, Moyes likes a diamond found amongst a, a bunch of coal 
And could Wallace be that? I mean, listen, he's, he's impressed and his stats are impressive. Um, you know, you look at other players that have come out of that league and yep. have gone on to do really well. You know, we spoke about Ollie Watkins last season numerous occasions. Yep. Do I do I think he needs to have another season this season to justify that £28 million uh, price tag? Yes, I do. I don't think you can have the one season that he's had. Do I think he should have gone to the Euros? Yes, I do. But, again, he needs to have a second season like the first to warrant that £28 million fee. Now, that being said, um, players coming out of that league can do it. Some can't. You know, there, there's, you know, Ravel Morrison didn't come out of that league, but he's bounced around that league quite often now. Yeah. And, and he's not showing me anything that I saw one glimpse of against Spurs. You know, and he's bounced in and around that league. Can Wallace step up into the Premier League and, and do it? There's only one way to find out. And if if Moyes has got his fingers in the pie, then there's a reason that he's looking. Hmm. So I just think, you know, I've, I read the story and I just think that there's obviously some smoke, which means there's a fire. Hmm. And if there's a fire, then that means that there's something must have been said somewhere down the line between Moyes and, you know, a friend. Or, you know, someone that Moyes has spoken to is then spoken out of turn, if you will, that he's interested in this lad. And, you know, then the rumour mill starts, then we start seeing the news reports on, on the websites and stuff. So, I mean, listen, if he's if he's any good, <clears throat> then I'll be all over it. Yeah. Bring him in. Uh-huh. I've got listen, I've got no um I've got no reason to to not bring him in. I think he's um he's, it, it, it's an enigma one because, you know, Without knowing, it's, it, but then it's also a no-brainer because he's not. If it's going to cost you anything, if he, yeah, if if, we, if know? he comes in in the summer window, then he's he's a free. If he comes in January because Millwall want to try and earn a few bob out of him, you know, it's their last drop two million quid. Then it's going to be a nominal fee. Yeah, well, drop two million quid in their lap. I'm not being funny. Grand scheme of things, um, if you look at the likes of what the price tag we were quoting for Ivan Tony or what Ollie Watkins went yeah. or what Saeed Ben Rama joined us for. Mm-hmm. A couple of million quid's nothing, is it? No. Just drop that in their lap. They'll more than likely let him go because they're not going to get much more than that from elsewhere unless there are other teams in the Premier League looking. Then that might be a different story. But who are you going to have that are going to be looking? You're going to be they're probably going to be the likes of what Southampton? Maybe. And Everton, possibly. And then probably 10th place and down. Hmm. What do they offer? Fuck all. We offer European football, hopefully in January, be it Europa League or Conference League. If we go in and drop a couple of million quid on Millwall's lap, hmm. he comes over. What if the other teams go, yeah, well, you get you get European football with us, huh? Come on, on you. And what a good, like, if Antonio goes down, yeah. you've got a lab of a, a goal-scoring pedigree. So, I just, I just think... Uh, if it's, it's a freebie, it's a punt. It's, yeah. a punt. it's yeah. got to be like I'm if it not... doesn't work out. Well, listen, it's not like the Ollie Watkins sort of like thirty million on the guy. The Ollie Watkins like that, was but... an expensive punt, yeah. especially if it doesn't roll out this season. For twenty eight, for close to thirty million pound, this geezer's got to be scoring twenty twenty five goals a season for the next three or four years to yeah. be considered in that price bracket for me. Anyway, yeah. I mean, he had a great first season. I'm not saying he didn't, but. He's now got to follow that up. A bit like Kane. Harry Kane had to follow that first season up. Jamie Vardy had to follow that first season up to be considered the players that they are, you know, and, yeah. and the sort of money everyone, Not everyone just said. one season. Yeah, one, and that. that's it. Everyone said that, well, that um, Vardy was, uh, not Vardy, Kane was going to be a one season one. He's proved that he isn't. Now, um, now Ollie Watkins has got to do the same. And like yeah. I say, he's come out of the championship. So someone like, you know, Wallace at Millwall, if, if he's got it in him, and obviously Moyes thinks he might. Let's back him. What was what was the phrase we were using all through the transfer window? Him Moyes, Moyes we, trust. we trust. Yeah. And I trust Moyes. I do. So if he if he wants a Millwall player at the championship, and let's be honest, it's a low championship. It's not like they're in and around the top. It's the same as Jared Bowen was when he was at Hull. Mm. They're a low championship side. And there are diamonds to be found. So yeah. I, I've got no qualms with him. What about you? What do you reckon? i got no problem with it at all. I know a lot of people are going to be, like you say, all Millwall, this, that and the other. That's we it, don't do it? business with him. But like I say, <laughs> if, he, if he comes in the summer, he's free. So we're not doing business with, with Millwall. We're doing business with the player. As usual, guys, we've batted it around. We've obviously discussed 
our opinions on both the stories. Um, but oh. as usual, it's your opinions that we want to hear from. So you've got a comment section below. Get stuck in. Joe Cole says we can win the Europa League. Villarreal did it. They're not a better team than West Ham. So why can't West Ham win it? Tell us what you think. Second story, obviously, as Duke's articulated, Jed Wallace from Millwall, available yeah. on a free in the summer. Is this someone we should be going for? Not so, not a team we traditionally do business with, but don't forget, he will be a free player in the summer, so we don't need to do business. We're not Millwall. signing him from Millwall, are so, we? So, yeah. you know, we're doing business with the player. So, again, comment section below. Get stuck into it. Let us know what you think. As usual, guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like on the stream. Really do appreciate that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you touch the bell. Make sure you touch the bell. And as usual, we're going to finish with our usual sign-up, aren't we, Duke? Uh, we are fucking massive. And, and come, come on, on your irons. irons.